Hello friends, welcome to Coding With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research. I'm so excited you're joining with me today. And if you've made it this far, we've done a ton of programming on this amazing Mario game. Today we're gonna look at some fixes. So if you had some problems, maybe this will help fix it for you. One of the things that I noticed for a problem was Mario dying. Sometimes he would sort of die twice and sometimes he would get stuck at the bottom for some of my kids that were programming. And we just found that maybe this code is not as great as it could be. So one of the things we're gonna do right now is we are going to fix that. What we'll do is we'll broadcast the game over and we're actually gonna upload a new sprite called Dead Mario. So let's do that first. Let's upload a new sprite and we'll call it, we'll upload Mario in his death suit. Now, if you are a patron of ours at patreon.com, you should have all of these glorious files. Here is our dead Mario. He's a little bit big. We probably don't want our dead Mario to be that big. I'm actually going to drag this guy up so he can be sort of near my other Mario. And I'm gonna rename him and I'm just gonna call him dead Mario like that. And you can check how big your Mario is. Size 15, so if we look right here, we're at size 15. We want our dead Mario to be the same size. So we'll do it like that. And then I'm gonna use dead Mario to sort of gather the data of when the game is over. So when this guy starts in the code, when I start, I want him to hide. Dead Mario should not be there normally. It's only gonna happen once he hears that the game is over. So when I, when I start the game, I'm gonna make sure that he's hiding, just in case for some reason he wasn't hiding before. Now, when I receive a certain event, when I am told that the game is over, this is when the sprite's gonna come out and play. So we can track where Mario is, and in fact, we can tell this sprite to go to wherever our Mario is, which is great because what if our Mario is sort of really far right or really far left, or maybe we make a game where we're jumping way up high and he dies up here. This guy, we can tell him, go over to him before you show. And we do that over in motion. We can go to a random position, which is not really what we want. We want to click on that, your drop down. We wanna to go to Mario. And once we're at Mario, we are going to show ourselves. All right, and then we can take some of this code that we have over here and we can put that in there. So I'm actually gonna take some of this code. All this stuff we can now delete. We don't need to switch any costumes. We can broadcast the game over. Maybe we do wanna wait before we stop everything so we can watch this happen and maybe we wanna look, maybe 10 seconds is a lot, maybe we just wanna wait like a few seconds. And this part, I'm actually going to copy it, oops, let's undo that. Let's copy this whole brick and we'll paste it over in our dead Mario. Oh, that doesn't wanna do it. All right, we'll drag it out then. So we are going to glide and we can glide for a second and we're gonna glide, we're gonna keep the X position the same. So if you scroll down in your motion, you can pull out whatever X position it is. So X will stay at X position and we'll use an operator for our Y position to make it go up and down. Because remember our Y position goes up and down while our X position goes left and right. So we'll take it, go to Mario, we'll take our Y position and we'll add 150. And that can go there. And then we can duplicate this block and we can go maybe to minus 300. Now this is a lot longer of a distance to glide. So you probably want this to be a two second glide or maybe this is a half of a second and this is a full second so that he's sort of gliding at that same speed. Now, after I've done that, we'll sort of see, we'll see his head sort of at the bottom, so we'll wanna hide our Mario. We can do that in looks. We can hide our dead Mario. And just in case the other one hasn't stopped everything yet, we can stop everything right there. We can go back into our Mario, let's make this go away. And this should fix our problem where sometimes Mario sort of gets stuck at the bottom and keeps dying. He keeps dying, he goes up a little bit, but then dies because he's too far down. So that will help that, and sometimes when we hit the Goomba, we saw our Mario die twice. This will fix that as well. So that's sort of a fun little fix for fixing how Mario dies. Now, another thing that we found that was really tricky was in our custom counters. All of these ones, tens, hundreds for our coin counters, or our times, and our seconds, and minutes, and whatnot. 
We found some kids had a really hard time with it switching the costume correctly. And that was really frustrating. It happened to me too. On one day it might work well, on the next day it doesn't work well. And that's never any fun. So I think what's happening, if we go over into our costumes, we have number zero down here and then we have the number one up here. This is the costume number, the number one. But I think the program might get confused between number zero and one, or number one and two. And even so much so that if I actually rename this zero and one, I actually end up having to change my code, but I have found it works a little bit better. So if I just name it its number, and this shouldn't change the code at all, which is what's funny, but it definitely does. And then I have found that our whole letter plus one can actually usually go to just the costume number. It's sort of interesting how that works. But this seems to be a great workaround for that. So we'll rename number nine, nine. And now our coin counter should work the exact same way, but we can start our little program. In fact, let me turn my scrolling off so we can check this. And I can do that over in my backdrop. I can set my scroll rate to zero. And it won't move at all. Oh, it shouldn't move. Let's see. So you would imagine if I set my scroll rate to zero, this would stop and it's not doing that. So I'm looking for where else my scroll rate could be. And I actually see it here in my backdrop. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this. And then now, there we go. Now we're sort of in a nice stop state. We definitely don't want to assign things in multiple places because it can lead to that. So that's a great bug that we just found right there. So now we can check to see about my coins. And it looks like it's stuck at one. Let's check our variables and make sure that we are counting the same as our coins is counting. There we go. And we are starting at one, so there, you'll notice that it sort of is tracking one higher, even though it should actually be tracking the number. And that is because over here, oops, not in costumes, in the code for our ones, we had the letter of coins plus one. And now for some reason, it's reading the costume name instead of the costume number. So you can change this to zero and that will fix that for you. And that's just a quick and easy way to fix that. You can go through all of yours if you want to. If yours is working fine, don't need to worry about it. But it can fix part of this where we, over here, we sort of brute forced it. And I think a lot of it is just this number, number, zero, number one, number two. I think it's getting confused between reading that. So that's something to think about going forward as we name these things of numbers and how we name those numbers. So those are a couple of fixes that we have found in our game. And if you find any other ones, feel free to comment on our video and we will see if we can find a great workaround for you. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you soon. Bye friends.